The British people have been going through a very, very hard time for this entire 21st century, but particularly since the collapse of 2008 and 9, the so-called Great Recession. The decline in well-being of the British working class, the austerity programs imposed on them by the conservatives, the decline in real wages, the working class in Britain has taken it on the chin very badly, even in comparison to other European countries. And in that situation, they got angry, and they got upset, and they got desperate. And there saw Mr. Boris Johnson saw an opportunity. Come in there, Mr. Flimflam man, and tell them that the problems of their society were the old leadership of the Conservative Party. He was the new leadership, you see. And he had no brushes or combs at home, so his hair was extraordinary. And you could remember who he was because nobody else has a haircut quite like that. And he came up with a great idea. The problem of Britain, you see, he explained, has nothing to do with Britain. Everything is fine in Britain. The conservatives, the capitalism with a handful of rich people, dominant, all of that's fine. The problem of Britain, you see, is Europeans. What? Yes, the European Union is dictating policies to us, and lots of these European immigrants are coming to our country and taking our jobs. So let's focus everybody's anger and upset on Europe and immigrants. And how do you do that? You vote for Brexit. You vote for Britain to leave the European Union, expel the immigrants, block more immigrants from coming, and get really angry. And if that isn't enough, get really excited about Russia and China. This all should strike my listeners as familiar because Mr. Trump is exactly the same game. American working class suffers for 20, 30 years, losing its income, losing its good jobs, losing the unions to protect it. All of that gets very upset, very angry, and in comes a Trump like a Boris Johnson. Trump is, does better with his hair because he doesn't try to comb it in a special way. He puts that animal on top of his head that we have all admired over the time. But the rest of it is very, very similar. And Mr. Trump eventually gets into trouble. Why? Why does he lose the election? Because all of what he does changes and solves nothing. None of the problems of the British capitalist system were solved by Mr. Johnson. None of the problems of American capitalism, automating jobs, exporting jobs, destroying livelihoods, beating down wages, making the rich richer at the expense of everyone else, that kept right on going under Johnson in England. It kept right on going under Trump in the United States. So, of course, their support begins to erode because they solve nothing. And after a while, the political theater that they engage in, the bombastic promises and statements and lying, you know, left and right, making stuff up. Mr. Johnson does that in England. Mr. Trump does that here. Meanwhile, no problems get solved. No changes get made. It's theater. It's flim-flam. It's an attempt to cash in on the justified upset and anger of a mass of people without dealing with the economic system, capitalism. That's the problem. That's the difficulty. That's the troubled area. That's taboo. We can't even say that, let alone do anything about it. So the problems keep getting worse. Mr. Trump is eventually voted out. Mr. Johnson, well, at the time I'm telling you this, it's unclear whether he will survive or not. By the time you see this, maybe that's been resolved. But, but he's at the absolute bottom of his time in office in terms of the toleration of the British people 